Hello, my name is Tomer and I will present a study on improvements to wind tunnel flutter prediction. This is part of my research toward the master degree in aerospace engineering and the presentation shows the method application to the HRTB wind tunnel model. Flutter prediction in the wind tunnel or flight test is typically made by assessing the aeroelastic system stability at safe pre-flutter conditions and extrapolating it to predict the instability onset conditions. Several prediction methods rely on stability parameter that varies as a known smooth function of the dynamic pressure. The methods rely on accurately evaluation of the model parameters and can be done with autoregressive models. In the current study, we focus on improvements to experimental flutter prediction by taking advantage of multiple data. We attempt to improve the aeroelastic system identification by analyzing multiple structural responses together, fitting them with the VARMA and VAR autoregressive models. We focus on model order selection, more tracking issues, and application of the system identification methods with relatively large datasets. The process of experimental flutter prediction can be divided into two steps. First, we need to identify the aeroelastic system's model parameters. We have a dynamic system, which is a wing in the wind tunnel in our case, excited by the air turbulence, and we measure the structural responses provided by accelerometers and strains. We use both to represent the system dynamics with autoregressive models, and then with some math manipulation, we extract the modes, which are the system model parameters. The second step is to get an assessment of the stability parameter. From all modes we got, we need to identify the dominant modes that participate in flutter and calculate the stability parameter at each pre-flutter airspeed. Then we fit a trend and make extrapolation to find the flutter onset. The stability parameter that we used in the study is flutter margin, FM, and it is measured how much stability is left in the system at a certain airspeed. The criterion developed for an analytical case of two degrees of freedom system and it is based on the root stability criteria. We calculate the stability parameter with the two dominant modes that participate in flutter using the following equation where omega is the frequency and beta is the frequency, time and damping. In experimental cases, it's hard to get an accurate assessment of the model damping and as the model damping are small values relative to the frequencies, the terms that are multiplied by zeta square can be neglected. So we can evaluate the approximate flutter margin, AFM, to get an assessment of the flutter onset when the frequency identification is good enough. FM is quadratic function of the dynamic pressure that goes to zero at the flutter onset. Based on the calculated FM values at pre-flutter conditions, the FM parameter can be fitted with the quadratic curve, which is extrapolated to FM equals zero to yield the estimated flutter onset. In the study, we used two autoregressive models to represent the aeroelastic system. First, the system can be modeled as a discrete VARMA model in which the structural responses Y are driven by their past values and by the input of air turbulence excitation in the wing tunnel U. Our goal is to estimate the AK matrices, which yields the system dynamic. The second approach uses the correlation functions, CF, which has the form of a 3 decay within the VAR model. The CF matrix R is computed at the covariance of the measured responses, and it is an important model analysis technique to identify the structural model parameters when the excitation is unknown. And as noted in the previous slide, our goal is to estimate the AK matrices to extract the modes of the aeroelastic system. To make a long story short, the main idea of the identification process includes defining a vector of unknown matrices and solve the problem using a least square estimator. Then, we can take the AK matrices and form the companion matrix, which represent the dynamic of the aeroelastic system. The last step is to solve the eigenvalues problem for the companion matrix and get the pulse. With simple math, we can explicitly get the frequency and the damping of each mode. From all modes, we need only the two modes that participate in flutter to evaluate the stability parameter. The method we use to define the model's order is a Kaike information criterion, AIC. The AIC determines the best model order using maximum likelihood estimator for the pair P and Q. Know that for the VAR model, Q is set to zero. For each combination of AR and MA orders, the AIC is computed with the following equation 
and the best model order is the one with the smallest value. The ASC were calculated for each response separately and average over all tested error speeds. And in cases, the AIC converge at higher orders, which could pose an overfitting problem, we proposed an additional criterion based on model parameter convergence. The identification process provides many poles, but only two are participating in binary flutter case. Therefore, a pure knowledge from an error-elastic analysis is needed. Assuming that the error-elastic modes are similar to the natural modes at the lowest and initial error speed, the algorithm search for the eigen frequencies closest to the structural frequencies as detected from ground version test. As the error speed increase, the algorithm search for the poles closest to the selected poles from the previous analyzed error speed. Assuming that the model parameters does not change drastically from one error speed to another as the error speed increase moderately. The last things that help us to track the critical modes is by finding the model participation of each mode. We use the method with the correlation functions, and the main idea is to use a least square estimator to extract the model participation of each mode. The proposed system identification and flutter prediction were tested on the wing tunnel test model of the HRTB wing. The HRTB is a fly wing configuration developed by undergraduate student at the Technion and intended for aeroelastic research and technology implementation. The wing instrumented with two triaxial accelerometers mounted on the front and the rear spars and measured the acceleration at the wing tip. In addition, the wing is also instrumented with fiber optic sensors that provide the local axial strength at hundreds of points along the sparse. The structural responses were recorded for two minutes at 15 stationary subcritical air speeds, ranging from 16 to 39 meters per second in two separate occasions. Here we can see the results using Varma model with acceleration responses. The model order selection procedure show us model order of 1817. After classifying the first four modes, we see that the two flutter modes approach each other, and the flutter margin predicts flutter at 40.2 m per second with flutter frequency of 7.9 Hz. The pole map of this case is presented in the following figure. All identified modes are distinct from the higher order and spurious modes. The close parameter of modes 2 and 3 are clearly observed. The pole of modes 1 and 4 stay batched together as the model parameter do not change too much with the airspeed. With VAR model based on the fiber optic sensors, the frequency variation with the airspeed is similar to the trend estimated by the VARMA model. However, the damping trend is less smooth. Flutter onset is estimated at 42 m per second, slightly higher than the VARMA estimates using the same data. The pole maps of the CF are then as shown due to data filtering that limited all the poles to a small band. The poles tracked by the model participation, but since the experimental data yield some spurious modes with high model participation, the pole's closeness is also considered. To sum it up, the Varma modeling approach yielded smoother variation of the model parameters with the speed, leading to accurate flutter prediction. Compared with the ARMA models in the literature, higher model orders capture several modes that participate in the elastic problem. VAR models resulted in less smooth variation of the model parameters and slightly higher flutter onset prediction.